In the 1.175 release from uh, January 12th this year, we introduced a lot of new things, uh, including um, decals, right? So decals has been a long awaited thing. And, you know, this is an older model and typically this is where, uh, in the, well, in the old days you would have modeled this, you would have created a sketch uh, with text in it and, you know, split the faces so that you could, you know, color the faces. So this is a good candidate for now where you could put a, a, a pretty simple, simple decal. Uh, but I want to show you, well, I want to show you putting a decal on, but I will show you a really nice technique that we didn't include in the What's New um, that I think I should share with you. So I'm going to put a sticker on the back here, and I found a nice one. Uh, here's a, an import of a, a GIF image here. Um, and I'll put the sticker on the back. And I could either locate it on this face, uh, or I could use a different technique. So the technique I'm going to use here is to create a part studio in context. And I'm going to use the whole, you know, this assembly as the context. Um, it could be kind of a lazy way to do it, but I'm going to sketch on this face here. And I'm going to sketch a rectangle which is 25 by 13, which is approximately, you know, the ratio of the sticker that I have. Now, I mean, I could constrain this in different ways, uh, but I'll just leave that, you know, kind of there for now. Uh, all right, so what I will do is now do an offset surface. So an offset surface uh, allows me to create a face. Right? I'm not splitting the original geometry, I'm doing this in context, I'm just creating a new offset face, which is offset um, 0.01 millimeters off the original reference there. So now I have the sticky bit. Onto the sticky bit, I'm going to put a decal. So the decal is now uh, easy to put on because I can just say, choose that image that we had there and choose the face. And the defaults will be to maintain the aspect ratio uh, of the image uh, with respect to, you know, using the width as a reference there. So um, that's going to fill it out nicely. And now I have this really cool decal, and I'm going to call this a uh, label, something like that. And I'm going to insert that into the assembly. So I'll just insert that part that we created back in the assembly, and, and there it is. Right? So really, really nice. Uh, I can move it around. I haven't constrained this, um, you know, using a, uh, a fasten mate or anything like that yet. Uh, I could group it in with something else if I wanted to, but for now, just leave it like that. But now I'm going to show you a little bit extra magic, right? Uh, here it is in context. Like, uh, you could probably guess where this is going, is I'm going to now configure this part studio. And I'm going to configure the feature that we just created here. Right, so I pick the uh, the decal, and I can configure a great number of things within the decal, including the width and the offsets and all those things, or the face selection. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to I'm going to configure the image that we're using, and you now can start to see uh, because I've got different forms of this image for different locales. I've got an English locale, I've got a Japanese locale, Chinese and Korean. I'm just going to go over here. You can see the, the image selection is what's been configured. So I just double click on that and I can choose a new image. I'll choose the Japanese image here. In Chinese, I'm going to choose the Chinese language version. And for the Korean, I'll use the Korean language version. So now we have a configuration which we can just flip between <laughs> the locale. Pretty cool. Pretty good. Um, so we go back to the assembly now, and all I will do is configure my top level assembly, uh, and I'll configure that label. So I've done this again, and I'm going to configure the locale. And I will do the same four languages as before. And that we should now have a fully configured top level assembly, which will allow me to choose the appropriate language. And, you know, and I could configure all sorts of other things, including the part number or SKU, or wherever else you want to configure uh, according to the location where this is going to be sold and used and supported. 
So configure, configuring decals, really, really powerful, uh, neat trick that you can uh, you do now um, in the latest version of Onshape.